And I knew he was going to be a coward. He proved it again today in court by trying to refuse to even be sentenced. A shocking scene playing out at a sentencing hearing today for a convicted murderer. Quantalee's Welch storming out of the virtual proceedings, flipping off the court and the victim's family on his way out. For a time, Welch refused to participate in that hearing, maintaining his innocence. And at one point, the judge ordering correctional staff to use force to get him to comply. Let's bring in Paul Bloom in our newsroom with more on this one. So, Paul, definitely something you wouldn't see every day in court. Not at all, Kelsey. I mean, at one point during this so-called hybrid virtual hearing with some of the parties actually in the courtroom and defending Quantalee's Welch appearing from prison, correctional staff asked this judge if they were authorized to use gas on this sometimes non-compliant inmate. In the end, no force was needed today. The victim's family, though, calling the convicted murderer an animal and a coward. Your Honor, is it mandatory that he re participates? He, refu he is refusing. It was a startling <sighs> sequence of events that played out during a virtual court sentencing Wednesday morning. Convicted killer, Quanalee's Welch, literally walking right out of the proceedings, stopping here briefly to flip off the Oak Park Heights prison camera. Well, I'm going to authorize you to use uh, whatever force is necessary to compel his attendance at this sentencing. And while Hennepin County Judge Thomas Conley gave an order to use force that correctional staff reported might include gas, the Department of Corrections confirmed Welch subsequently returned to the hearing after a successful off-camera conversation. Though the 32-year-old sat on the floor throughout, unable to be seen, but sometimes heard. That's all I got to say. That's going to get there on the record. And I'm innocent. Loved ones of the victim watched all this play out from the downtown Minneapolis courtroom as Judge Conley eventually sentenced Welch to the maximum 40 years behind bars. It's bittersweet. Um, we got justice, and that's what we sought to do. Nikki Martin still doesn't understand why Welch in an SUV ran down and killed her 26-year-old son, Caleb Hutchins, last year in a North Minneapolis alley as Hutchins test drove a dirt bike-style motorcycle. All she knows, it was cruel, intentional, and robbed her large family of so much. Caleb knows he's loved. We want him back. But since we can't have him back, we got justice. So much heartache there. And in that large group of family and supporters of Caleb gathered at the courthouse today was Hutchins', Hutchins own children. That included a baby daughter he never had the chance to meet. He was killed a year ago, July, before baby Mullany was born. Live in the newsroom tonight, Paul Bloom, Fox 9.